We're here at the uh, entrance to the main road. We gotta turn around and you can see they're doing road construction. They're widening the road. Hi guys. Hi. So there's all the tricycles lined up waiting for passengers. Uh, it, it's a way to make a living. And no. didn't need a lot of passengers to fill that queue up. But this is the main road leading to uh, Joan's house down about a half mile or so. But we're going to take a little shortcut back over to the main road. And you can see there's there's tricycles everywhere. That's the uh, main way of getting around. A lady with a parasol, not an umbrella. Because it's... Uh, Designed to uh, keep the sun off your head, it's not an umbrella. But there's a uh, tricycle there with passengers. And more more tricycles there. They're ubiquitous, uh, even in the big town of Manila. Uh, you see them, not on the main roads, but in the back roads. And this is... Uh, this is National Highway. If you keep going this way uh, long enough, you'll wind up in Manila after about four hours, five hours. They take their crossing laws seriously here. And there's the main plaza. That's where they have all the cultural events. And right to the side of that, we'll pass the church. There's the big Catholic church there that's been around for uh, forever. And uh, there's the plaza in there. And then there's Jones Church there, right there, the Iglipean Church, Filipino Independent Catholic. That's where she grew up. And there's the 7-Eleven. We get to go to the 7-Eleven and buy 7-Eleven type stuff. But here's the, the main road. It, it's a very busy road. It's the main road that runs along the coast of the uh, uh, island of Luzon. Uh, like I said, all the way from Manila. You can keep going uh, north on this road. We're headed south now. You can keep going north and take it all the way to the tip of the island, I believe. Uh, one of the days we would like to do that. We were out in the uh, rural area, if you can distinguish rural from rural. Uh, these are rice fields out here that we're looking at, and Carabao out in them. Uh, some, some homesteads out here. To the uh, right of us, we're, you can see we're rapidly approaching the uh, hills there. I, I wouldn't call them mountains, but they're, they're pretty good hills. But uh, you see in front of us, uh, it, it's all rural. This is just a small road. Uh, Joan is taking us somewhere. I'm not sure where we're going, but it, it's, it's somewhere I, I trust. And uh, a pretty country. You can see, obviously, uh, oh, here's some. Uh, what are the reasons there? I don't know what those are. Uh, but yeah. Life out here is, 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 is pretty rural, and it, it looks like we're, uh, we're at a uh, somewhere. More houses down that way. So this is a little collection of houses, and this looks like a slightly bigger road. A little bit more uh, uh, inhabited. We're at the Paper Tree Resort. Say hi, Michael. This is our cousin and our driver. That's his uh, his trike there that he fixed up. He, he he took the top off the trike so I can actually see things and without bumping my head and uh, 
I don't Are we close by Pinatubo? No, this is no? farther from okay. here. Well, I don't know. Like... Don't act surprised that I don't know. So. Come on in. Oh, this is where... Hello. Oh, something to drink. Yeah. So we're by some water of some kind. We're visiting the Milanami. Oh, nice. Huh? You can eat the clear water. Yeah. The picnics they rent it out. Uh huh. Well, let's get some uh, mm -hmm. something to drink at the Sorry Sorry store. See if you in the Philippines and you hear Sorry Sorry store, they're not apologizing to you. It just means that it's a little store where they have little bits of this and little bits of that. So here I am across the river from where we came in. You can see the little, uh, little whatever they are there. You can sit and rest and relax. Is this a, a like a paid resort, a private you resort? Pay, you can pay. Do you have to pay to come in? I think it's for a picnic. I don't know how much you want. So. You can have a picnic in there. It, it looks like they have a little boat down there that you can. Uh, you can you swim, can take. Mind, but... so uh, it's very nice, very very relaxing it's here. Very, uh, uh, they were famous. People come here, but it's remote. <laughs> very remote. Yeah. All right, we're back in in town now, and we're ready to take off. We're at the market. And we're coming up on the uh, plaza here, where we passed when we started out. And again, this is uh, the church that Joan grew up on the uh, left-hand side. We've been in there before. It's beautiful inside. And the plaza. We haven't been to the plaza yet this year to hang around. But here's the church. You can see Iglesia Filipina Independent. And here, here we are back on National Highway. This is actually uh, where we started. You can see the ad for Crystal <laughs> Beach. We're going to be going there later on. Chicken place. We had Chuck's chicken last night. We're headed north now. There's San Narciso Elementary School. That's not where Joan went. She went to a different school. Yeah, you can see here on the left and right, they're widening the road, making it a four lane which is really needed because it, it gets very crowded but up until that point it, it, it's a real mess like any road construction and not too far up here we're going to go to the Jones Old School the Ballas Academy which is the reason why we're here at this time oh there it is Ballas Academy. She spent uh, four years there and she's here for her 50th reunion now. This used to be a uh, functioning river here mm -hmm. and uh, the bridge across the river and when uh, Pinatubo erupted, it, it pretty much wiped out the, the river and filled it full of ash. So they 
they mine uh, all the lahar now, the ash, and use it to make uh, bricks and things, but uh, no more river. Interesting. Here we are on the main street, following the parade of uh, tricycles. This is leading, well, we just passed uh, Joe's mother's house. This is the school she went to, her grade school, directly across, almost directly across the street from her house. She still managed to be late every day, and the school went all the way here. On our way to the the beach, there's a ride down the beach road, look at all the different resorts. Now there's a beach directly ahead of us, and as we make the turn here, here are the majority of resorts. Some of them are very small. We're going to head to Crystal Beach, which is a uh, one of the more beautiful resorts in the area, one of the better known ones. People come from all over Southeast Asia to go to Crystal Beach. We'll wave at the ladies. Very friendly people. You wave at them and they'll always wave back. Of course, they kind of stare at me. Probably can't notice all the small little resorts. This is the beach at La Paz. This is where the American forces landed 75 years and like four or five days ago. 
and I, I'm, I'm going to pan over here and show you the uh, memorial they have uh, the centograph right here there's the town auditorium La Paz auditorium and uh, the names of a lot of the guerrillas Filipino guerrillas at Jones family has a number of names on there but uh, they had a big ceremony here just a couple of days ago unfortunately we got in at like five o'clock in the morning and the ceremony was at 7 30 and we were so tired that we just couldn't uh, couldn't make it i would have loved to have been here but uh, it was quite a sight 75 years ago uh, and a week uh, less than a week as the american forces uh, stormed the uh, beaches here, the ships pulled right up and the tanks rolled off and through the town and they liberated this part of the Philippines. And of course the guerrillas uh, did much of the work before them, that's why they were so celebrated. We're walking along the La Paz Beach. Now up until just about uh, Five minutes ago, there was no waves at all. It was a totally still beach. And now the waves have come. You can see the mountains in the background and Caponis Islands to the right of the video. Uh, we're not going to get a chance to visit the islands this trip for a variety of reasons, uh, much of uh, because we're just not going to have enough time. But we do want to come out to the beach as often as we can. It's about 8.30 in the morning. We missed the uh, sunrise this morning. Normally it comes about 6, 6.30. You have to be out at the beach for that. Uh, with it being 8.30, uh, let me tell you, the sun is already getting uh, hot out here. You're in a tropical climate. And you can see uh, West China Sea? West Philippine Sea. Okay, now known as the Philippine Sea. West Philippine Sea. A uh, little name change there. And there's all of our footprints leading there. And there's uh, the people uh, out swimming. Nobody comes out here during the uh, midday except for absolute crazy people and, uh, and Americans who don't know any better. Fast, it? <laughs> we don't want to lose the phone yeah. in the uh, Filipino, West Filipino Sea. We're going to go over to the Pawakan. Pawakan. Pawakan, uh, the baby sea turtle uh, restoration, uh, and, and see if there's any baby sea turtles hanging about. And hopefully, uh, sometime. We'll get a chance to release some baby sea turtles back into the ocean so they can swim all the way to Australia. We'll see how that works.